John chapter 1, verse 14, and it's getting exciting in this introduction. I'll read it and we'll talk about it. John 1, 14 says, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we have seen His glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. This is an exciting verse. Remember the discussion of the Word that was with God and was God, and creation was made through Him and all of that. At the very beginning of this introduction, bam, verse 14 now says, the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. God entered creation as a man. And then it goes on to say, we have seen His glory. We have seen Him. We are witnesses of who He is. That's what John is talking about. And then this book, that's the introduction, the book of John is going to talk about the God-man who entered the earth in flesh relating to us we're gonna we're gonna read more about how that played out and what that means as we read the book of John but but this should be exciting to us also for us often we think of of Jesus as very ethereal we think of him as God because John really does indicate that that he is God but often we forget that he is also 100% man he was 100% God and 100% man and still is. He has a body. He has flesh. He can relate to what we've done. He's walked the earth physically. He's he's ate food. He's done all the things really that, that humanity requires. Breathed air. He's been hungry. He's been tired. Yeah, you know, he's had to go to the bathroom. He's he's had all of those things that we've had. He's probably been bit by mosquitoes. He's probably like all of it. He can relate because he's entered his creation. And in doing so, he's really become an ambassador. You know, when someone comes from another country as an ambassador to, to this world, he is God, an ambassador of the kingdom, the king himself entering into the world. I often think of like the stories of Aladdin where, you know, the queen is dressed as a peasant person, yet to know her people. That's what's going on here. The word became flesh.